Skate Canada was playing tricks and treats with us this weekend. Starting off with the pairs, I called the top six perfectly. Every pair is in the position that I originally predicted in my last video, which was kind of spooky given the fact that it was Halloween. Starting off with our winners was um, Wang Zheng Shui and Hong Kong. Oh my God. However, I could not say that I fully enjoy their performance because stupid Peacock went out right before the Canadian pairs and Shui and Hong could skate. After the Olympic, the first thing I do is cancel Peacock. I can't believe I'm paying monthly and I can't even watch my favorite pairs. While I didn't get to see the short program, well, not all of it. I found little bits of pieces of it on other sites. I did see the Bridge Over Water Long Program. Again, I'm going to say this program is a masterpiece. Even with the fall on the side-by-side -side Sal Cow, it couldn't take away from this program. Every moment has a purpose, every transition, every lift, the choreo sequence, everything is just perfect. I do wish they had stick with the original version of the song, which made much more of an impression. But still, I, I, for me, this is the program with the most Olympic moments in it in terms of what the pairs have shown so far. I really pray that the judges just put the political bullshit aside and really just watch what's being skated and judge the skaters fairly. I'm also praying that Shui can get that sal cow together. I am I am lighting a candle. Hopefully that will help. Um, in second place was Daria Pavlenchenko and Dennis um, Kadukan. The short is difficult with a lot of tricks. However, they can't perform the tricks well and the program felt choppy and rush. They spent the entire program chasing their music, is what it seemed like to me. The long really wasn't much better. It was also a very difficult program. However, they're not skating up to that difficulty level. As a matter of fact, they were third in the long program. And I would have probably placed them even lower than that, except the other teams also didn't perform so well. I feel like the, they need to go back and their team need to go back and rework this program. Both of their program, as a matter of fact. I feel like this is a case where sometimes less is more. Take out some of these extra unnecessary tricks on these unnecessary difficulties and work on getting the basics, the throws, the lifts, the side-by-side -side jumps. Work on getting those things perfectly first. That's, that's what I feel. I feel like right now they're definitely the number four team in Russia, but this outing is not helping them climb any higher. Surprise of the night was definitely Ashley Kane Gribble and Timothy LaDuke. The short was not great. Ashley had a, a fall on her side by side and then another fall in the throat. However, they came back fighting. The long was one of their cleanest performance to date. They are putting one hell of a fight for that Olympic spot. They are telling the U.S. Skating Federation, do not forget about us we are here and that is just making me that much more excited for u.s national because now we're gonna have three teams going head to head all trying to make it to the olympics i can't wait um coming in in fourth place just off the podium was vanessa james and eric radford <sighs> the thing is eric and megan and megan was special Vanessa and Morgan were unique. However, Vanessa and Eric so far are neither special or unique. They are basic. That short program, it wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. Their skating is just there. Maybe my expectations were too high, but the long again was average. So far this season, they have yet to do a clean short or a clean long. I mean, the only upside to this performance is that at least Eric wasn't bleeding this time. I mean, yes, they are proven to be the top team in Canada, but let's be honest, that bar is fairly low right now. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens as the season progress, but they ended up in fourth place overall. And fifth place was my little German 
pair, uh, Minerva Fabian Hayes and Nolan Siget. They had a moment in the short. They had a moment in the short and they were third. This team is the dark horse. If others falter and they can get their throws together, you never know. This was another short clean for them, which means they're building goodwill with the judges. The long, however, the throws just weren't there. The elements just weren't there. There's just a lot to be worked on. But I actually had them ahead of Vanessa and Eric. I, I don't know. I, I just felt like there was more, they, they skated with more connection. It was more flowing, which made sense because they've been together a lot longer. But I feel like they're definitely building in the right direction. And I want to see more for this team. Um, unfortunately, they ended up Michael Marin, um, Mike, um, Michael Marinero and Kristen Moore Towers. I didn't see that short program again, thanks to Peacock. And they ended up overall in sixth place. But they were ahead of Vanessa and Eric in the short program. And this was their golden opportunity. This was the chance for them to let the Canadian Skating Figure Federation know we're the number one team. We've been there all along continue to invest in us and they didn't do that this they they missed um the timing on one of their lifts and then the third lift just went completely awry i mean i feel at that point that's that's all that that's all that's all there is to it this is their second time that they were beaten by vanessa and eric and the point different between them is simply it's just it's just growing I feel like they are really signing off on the narrative that they are the second team in Canada, which is really sad. Um, we're going to have to wait and see what happens at Nationals, but I don't think this is how they imagine or how they wanted to start their, their season and their campaign for the Olympics. Pair was pretty uneventful with things playing out as expected. Um, Sway and Han made the night for me, and I hope they can maintain and improve as the season progress. But let me know in the comments what you thought of pairs and what your placement looked like.